Hey guys, it's me. I wanted to hop on. Sorry, I sound awful. <coughs> I've been sick for three weeks and it's just not going away. Um, but I really wanted to do this video right now and kind of talk about, I know, well, I've gotten mostly positive comments and different things on my hair, which I don't need comments. I don't need any of those things and I'm not doing any of this for attention. It's been really nice to hear the positive things, but I've also gotten some negative responses and just questions about why I shaved my head. So I wanted to, I did actually record myself shaving my head, but I was just kind of blabbing and I wasn't thinking about what I was saying. So I said things that weren't completely clear, or completely accurate. So I decided not to post that. <coughs> Sorry. And I wanted to jump on and make a video at that time anyways, a few days after I'd shaved my head just to kind of explain what's been going on, how it's been going. So firstly, how it's been going. Um, it's been terrifying, honestly. Shaving my head has been huge. I wore a toque the first day because I was so self-conscious and I just couldn't do it. Even though I had taken the step to shave my head, I'm still human and it was terrifying. And even though I'd posted it on Facebook, I was like, what will my peers think? What will, there were certain people in my life that was like, what the heck are they gonna think? And I don't wanna have those conversations with people. Which again, most of the responses, 99% of the response has been positive. But there have been a few people that it's been a little more negative or questioning why or think I'm over the top, which I understand where you're coming from. I get it. Why do this? Is it for attention? Do I need a friend? Do, am I just a crazy weirdo? Which I mean, yes I am, but, <laughs> um, so the first day I wore a toque, the second day I just forced myself to be out there and I took off my toque and I wore it and the response was amazing again from the people who hadn't known or seen or had only heard things. And it's been really helpful, but I've still struggled because like I said, my hair was something I hid behind. It was something, now I stand out. Like I walked down the hall in college and I actually don't look at people because I'm still too scared to at this point to see, you know, what their expression is because I've noticed people, females who have shaved their heads and I've kind of been like, whoa, and it draws attention and I don't like being the center of attention in that way. There are things like if I'm on stage singing, by all means, like attention in a good, healthy, positive way, but attention is in shaving my head, look at me, I'm doing this for attention, to get people to feel sorry for me or wonder what's wrong or just to draw attention to myself, that's not it at all. I don't like that kind of attention, actually. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> I have no problem explaining. I just don't like the, oh my goodness, what did you do? Or that girl looks really weird kind of attention. So it's been really difficult and I did wear a wig because I had something to go to one day, which was fun. <coughs> Excuse me, it was fun. Um, and I think I might wear wigs once in a while just for fun, but not to cover up and not to hide. I don't want to do that. I'm not saying I won't because I'm human and I'll have my insecure days, but even wearing a wig because people can tell it's a wig sometimes, that draws attention. And then they wonder, who are you? What the heck? Why? What's your problem? Um, but I just want to have fun with it. And on a positive, extremely happy note, I may post a picture, but my hair, I was running my hand over it and I was like, it feels thick. I'm like, no, it's just my mind telling me that it's growing already and thicker and longer, but it actually is. I took a picture, I sent it to my mom and I was like, seriously, look at the difference. It's only been five days and it's already grown, which one of the reasons, here, I, I'll get into this, this is my first reason. One of the reasons I shaved my head was for a personal ex experiment. Um, to see how fast my hair grew, uh, how it would do without heating tools, so I'm not gonna use heating um, styling tools on it anymore. I do a very natural hair routine now, which <clears throat> I've transitioned into a little bit. 
but now it'll kind of help it with it being this short. You won't notice the transition as much because it's so short. So I kind of want to experiment and see how my hair does just being natural and with it being more healthy. And also with me, I eat a lot healthier than I did a year ago <coughs> or two years ago. Um, and just taking better care of my health, getting more minerals, more vitamins, eating more um, healthy and all those kind of things. So it's just, it's for one aspect, it's an experiment for me because I'm a curious person and I like experiments. This one was kind of crazy. Do I do these kind? No, not very often, not really. I've never done something like this. It's terrifying and I am scared. I'm not a huge fan of the look. It's not bad. It's just not my style. But it's hair. It will grow. It's not a big deal. Another thing I have noticed, which I didn't shave my head for this reason, but so many women that I've talked to are like, oh, I wish I could do that. Or now you're making me want to do that. Or I wish I had the courage. It is terrifying. And you don't have to do it. There's nothing that says you ever have to. But why do we as females place so much emphasis on our hair. It shouldn't matter. It is hair. It will grow back. And just because we shave our head doesn't mean we're going off the deep end or we're crazy. It's literally just hair. And so I've also had that thought over this process. Um, <clears throat> another reason I wanted to do this was because I have had poor health for all 27 years of my life. But the last six seven years have been really, really bad. And it has shown in my hair. I used to have long hair that was really nice. Um, not nice in the way like it was perfect, but it was nice. It was fairly full. It, it's never been super thick, but it was fairly full. It was super long. I wanted to donate it, which I did, which was something else I did in my life, which I'm grateful for. Um, and I just noticed that my hair was fragile. It was breaking. I was losing it and I was tired of finding it all over the floor in my bedding. Josh would complain when he'd find it on his thumb wrapped around his fingers in the bathtub in food. It was disgusting. And it looked awful. It was very hard to upkeep. I wasn't happy. I wasn't feeling good in it. It was just disgusting and a mess. And my poor health showed in it. So I just wanted to start fresh and take better care of it and get rid of the dead gunk that was on my head. So health in that aspect played a part. The other part was I, as I said in my post, I started writing down all my fears and tackling my fears. And this was a way for me to really say, I can't hide behind this anymore. This is who I am. I have to walk into a room and this is who I am. Sure, I can find other things to hide behind, but for me, my hair was my biggest one. And I want to become a better person. I want to get over my fears, or I at least want to face them, even if I never completely get over them. And this was one of those ways, was to say, strip this back. Now I can't hide. Take me for who I am. And if you don't like it, that's okay. You can walk away. And I can heal from that, and I can move on. So these were all of my reasons why. There's probably a couple points that I missed, but those were the basic reasons why. I know this video is quite long, I'm sorry. Too much to talk about, but in case anyone was curious or thought I was going off the deep end or thought I was fanatical or thought I was crazy, still think what you will. It's your place to judge as you will. But I don't wanna judge others and I wanna share my experience. I share openly because I believe when we share, we learn. And the first talk in the women's session of General Conference actually explained exactly what I've been trying to do for the past couple years. I believe openness and honesty. Honesty is the biggest thing that I think is important. If you can't be honest with me and I can't be honest with you, it won't work. And if when people aren't honest with me, that's what hurts me the absolute most in sharing with you that I'm struggling, that I'm terrified, that I'm still insecure walking around like this. I feel weird and like I'm trying to draw attention to myself though I'm not. But being open and sharing that, there's other people going through that just like I am. Other people who wanna face their fears but don't know where to turn. 
and I'm not trying to be an inspiration in a way of, oh, look at me, but if I can help anyone, I want to. And I know I need so much help in my life and I have for so many years. I hope that something I share can be that for someone else. And I just want everyone to know that it's okay to be human because I have struggled with being, trying to be perfect and feeling like I was doing everything wrong, feeling like it was always my fault and I had to do better and I couldn't be who I was for so long that I wanna share that it's okay. And it's okay to be afraid and insecure and to do things you regret and to move on and to find yourself brand new or find yourself again. And don't let other people take that away from you because it's not worth it. And don't take that away from yourself because that's only surviving in life. That's not living. And I am personally tired of just surviving in life. I want to live. And facing my fears is a first step on that path or a next step. I've taken a lot of first steps, so this is a next step. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of clarify for anyone who was wondering, any skeptics out there, you can still judge me. Do you know what? That's your problem, your business. That has nothing to do with me, honestly. The people who are judging, it's all about them, not the person they're judging or the the things they're judging. And I am learning that. And I'm learning to try and just be brave, even though I'm scared. And that's the end of this long spiel video. Thank you for watching and thanks for being so supportive. It means so much. I don't need it to thrive, but I appreciate it so much. So thank you. I love you guys.